Hello everyone and happy Wednesday to you. So we're gonna go through the lighting critique for today. We've got a bunch of images to go through, got a couple videos to go through, but I wanted to start off by uh, reminding you guys a couple of housekeeping things off the top. But first, I wanted to thank everyone for you guys' patience during um, our transition over to Discord. You guys have been nothing but supportive and amazing and kind and patient. And it's just, I think I said patient twice there, but it's true. You guys have been amazing. You've been enthusiastic about the whole process and you've been open and honest with us about the feedback and how we can make that experience better for you. And we really, really do appreciate that. Um, secondly, I want to remind everyone that tomorrow at 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, I will be going online with uh, Abel Vargas, who is going to be running our uh, Katana workshop, which I am super duper excited about. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow, but just mark your calendars for that. I'll send out the link uh, to Zoom and YouTube Live tomorrow. Um, and other than that, I think we're good. I did want to answer a couple of questions in the forum here before we get going. Uh, first off, yes to Alien who asked about Boutique 23. Unfortunately, their website mysteriously disappeared a couple weeks ago and I've been trying to contact them without much luck. So it does look like they're down for at least the time being. Hopefully they come back soon. Uh, their characters are really good and they're just really good people and I hope they're doing okay. Um, Adrian, great question about the demo reel. I got it. You threw it up in the lighting, work in progress, and feedback, and that's what it's there for. It's kind of a catch-all, whether it's a monthly challenge, a personal project, uh, some other asset, or your demo reel. So thank you for asking that. It's a great question. I will be adding some descriptions to these channels soon, and, um, and we'll get some more on that. And I think that was all of the questions in here, if I remember right. Um, yeah, and da -da 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 -da. I think that was it. Why do I feel like there was one more? Nope, I think that was all of it. So thank you guys, and thank you to uh, Forrest and Diana and um, Mr. Swift and uh, Michael Callahan for, for providing um, uh, incredible uh, support as moderators for the Discord forum. Want to give a shout out to those guys too. And Shane does a great job of only using his name occasionally as a pun. I would do that constantly. I would make Swift jokes all the time, so he's much more restrained than I am. Okay, let's get into the critique. All right, so first off, I want to start off with... Uh, uh, Yang's piece here. So I really like this. Uh, let's see, we've got the animation update here. I still think that we can go warmer on this character in the foreground. I still feel like he's a little super cool and metallic. At least get him to a neutral tone. Um, and I think that will, that will definitely help out. The dress color change helps a lot. I think the outer depth of field is looking pretty good. Um, back to this. Looking at the background first, now working my way forward here. Um, yeah, maybe just like a little bit more contrast back here. I think we can get away with it because of the lack of, uh, with, with, with it being out of, out of focus a little bit, I think we can push a little more brightness in there, like get it up to like a mid-tone level. Um, in terms of her, let's see, her lighting, I think she's looking pretty good. This rim light gets pretty hot in a couple places, like specifically right there. Um, like that, it really, really flashes. So I would, I would soften that and tone that down a little bit. Stop flickering there, what was that? Weird little popping hair in there. Do you see that, right? If you look in here. Um, you might just have to paint that out later. That's a pretty common lighter task, unfortunately. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. One of the things that's really drawing my eye is the, like the, the light sources in the re reflection here. I would turn off those light sources in the reflection, just make them uh, in their render settings, you can make them not visible in the reflection and make sure it doesn't affect anything else, but um, you just don't want to pick those up too, too, too much there. Uh, but, 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 but yeah, the biggest thing would be getting getting his uh, core skin tone into a more neutral, if not a little bit warmer state. And I don't know if that book is important to the dialogue, but um, we may want to read that a little bit more and also maybe keep it out of this shot. Uh, it's a little distracting there. Let me just turn that off. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's pretty good for that one, though. I mean, you can play around too with getting a little reflection in these in these uh, in these pictures if you want. If not, you can just pretend like there's no glass in there too, and then that's totally fine. Um, and then I would play up her hands a little bit here. Like the way that this light, this, this rim light's hitting here, it would be nice if it hit up here and here too. 
because that, that hand position is kind of important and it would be cool to pick up and read that as well. But really good job there. Now I want to take a look at Adrian's demo reel. So I want to, like, I, I usually like to do these fresh as, um, as a new, like, as if I'd never seen it before. And that was, and this is one of those, like, you do a really good job of labeling it of what it is, because if it was me, I'd be like, oh, this is just like, oh, he lit on Zootopia, but you labeled it very clearly as a shot recreation. Um, I don't think that you need all of, I think you can, I think you can leave off the second part of, about the rigging and animation help by these two guys. It's really nice of you to include them, but it gets a little wordy down here. And it would be nice to just if to just be able to focus on lighting models and shading all done by me. I think that's really good. Um, in terms of, I don't know if you want actual lighting notes on this or not. I mean, the setup is pretty good. Uh, it's just the character's uh, core color herself doesn't quite look right. She's a little bit warmer in this shot. Um, there's a little more light hitting onto this wall here. There's more shaping in there. Uh, but, but the ground's a little bit brighter. The background's a little bit brighter. A little more shaping on the door here. So I don't know if you have the ability to go back and tweak that stuff, but if not, I wouldn't worry too much about it. This is, it's, this is a really, really good shot. Um, also, her eyes are a little bit, uh, blah, 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 a little bit janky too in that, well, a couple things. One, when she blinks, I think, let's see if that's, yeah, her, her eyelids are a little bit bright and they kind of stand out to me there. And also like there's a bright eye ding in there um, that I would kind of tone down. For your breakdown, I think it's good, but if, you, if there's any way to get rid of the matte line throughout, I mean, I guess it's, it looks like an unmalt, pre-malt thing, like as you're going through the comp, but I would, just for the sake of making it a clean image throughout, and that those last couple swipes are a little fast. Bink, 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 bink. Okay, it feels like they speed up, maybe not. Also, I wonder if there's, hmm. It's fine. No, I was gonna say, cause like this feels like it cuts all the way across, all the way across, and then like little bits on her, all the way across, all the way across, eh, all the way across. Like if you can make that one in the middle feel like it's all the way across. This looks great. Um, that looks really nice. This looks really nice. Yeah, this is cool. You'd see I'm kind of skipping ahead here just cause um, I mean, it's a super cool tool, but I am just wondering if we can, if we can, uh, maybe even speed up the, the speed on that. Cause this, this goes on for, starts at about 21 seconds, goes until about almost a minute. So this, this is almost 40 seconds long, which is a little bit, I'd like to maybe try and cut that in half if you can. Cause then you go you, like, this is kind of long and then this kind of hits you out of nowhere and then boom, it's gone. Um, in terms of lighting on this, again, I don't know if you have the full control over it, but you want to get some more brightness, a little less saturation, similar to what we're seeing there, and then a little more brightness coming in on this side. Um, the spot looks good on the ground, but like more hazy, glowy goodness up over here. And then you want to read, like punch up these um, uh, blah, 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 the aliens, Arcadia, trolls, wizards. You want, you want to knock all that up a little bit to really get that to read. And then check out the rim on him versus the rim on yours. Just more punchy, more uh, contrast overall, which I think would help out a lot. It's a nice little breakdown here. I think that's good. The breakdown's a little bit long. I would, I would try, especially towards the end, I would try and combine a few of those into, into a single pass. But um, yeah, this is looking great overall. Really, really, uh, really good stuff there. All right, let's hop on into some of our still images. We'll go through them alphabetically, starting with Annabelle. Annabelle, this looks great. Yeah, I think I would I would call this one done. Um, unless anybody else sees anything, I don't I don't think there's really much else we want to tweak on this. I think this is in a really good spot. I think you should be really proud of this. This looks great. I think um, yeah, again, some some of the subtleties in the wings and the legs and the toes and all that stuff just you absolutely knocked it out of the park. So be really proud of that, and I'm excited to see what you do next. Hi, Danny. All right. So this this up here is looking, I, I think it's looking a little bit better. I think we can colorize it a little bit more, uh, make it a little bit warmer. Just not, not so much the light itself, because I can see it there, but just in this kind of outer haze thing. Um, 
touch that up. And then in terms of, and then we can, then we can get back into this character. And then, so add some warmth there. And your next step is just going to be to create more shaping on the character's face. Um, it's going to be a really tough one because again, like we want the character to stand out a little bit, like in the, the saturation is really good. It's just kind of uh, universal over top. And then, and, and when I, when I was pointing around this way, it's actually going to be like kind of coming downward like this. So kind of to the side, but really kind of top down. Um, but just see if you can solidify that a little bit. And it might be a matter of reducing the subsurface scattering on the head. But I would, I would go ahead and give that a try and make that your next focus. But really coming along. Drew. All right. So two things off the top. Uh, look into the transparency on the hair and the eyelashes. And probably the eyebrows too. Um, there is, should be an opacity map baked in. Although with that one, it might be before we did that. Um, check and see if there's an opacity map. If not, you may have to generate a black and white image to show where there's transparent edges based based on the color map or the roughness map or something like that. Uh, you might just take it into an image generation software and just, just make a black and white image, plug it into Arnold's uh, opacity, and and you can get... Because um, uh, right now, the, the hair and the eyelashes and the eyebrows are just reading as uh, the planes, and, and we're not getting the transparency. Like you, These eyelashes are just supposed to be like little flick, flicks and things there. Um, in terms of the lighting itself, uh, starting with the wall, this hard line we want to soften that. Uh, but but you're really starting to do a good, uh, a really nice job of of creating some shaping along this back wall. Like this shadow is looking really nice. I would just also try and add, run an ambient occlusion pass and just get a little bit of a grounding shadow, like really solidifying her to the um, to the wall there. And then as this that shadow softens, you want to make sure to soften that one as well. Character itself is looking pretty good. Again, hard shadow there, make sure that's softened up a little bit. Hard shadow there, make sure that's softened up a little bit. Specular highlights are looking a lot better on the skin. So if the specular highlights are the same light that's giving us this sharp shadow here, what you wanna do is you wanna break them out into two lights. Um, keep one light that's just for like specular highlights. Um, and so you're turning off all the diffuse value and then another light with, with just a diffuse value and no specular highlights. Um, with a larger radius to kind of break out those shadows a little bit. So give that a try and see if that works and then we can go from there. But this is looking, uh, yeah, this is looking much, much better. Forest, great improvements here. Uh, I do think that we can get a slight bit more darkness, a slight bit more darkness here in these uh, foreground guys. Um, and then just again, step them back into space. So like the darkness in the blacks here is like one, two, three allow this character to be in two eyes look great this looks great all that like love that little patch of light there girl she looks really fantastic that's pretty much it just building up some depth as we go down this side would be really helpful and also perhaps let's see if let me just mock this up see if darkening this helps at all I think darkening that edge might be, maybe not to that quite level, but somewhere in there would be really good. Just to kind of, you know, keep our, keep us focused onto the screen left side. But this looks really, really good, dude. I would be very proud of this. Uh, right, Jeff. Let's see. So one of the things I wanted to point out to you, um, and it's, uh, I, I, like your, I like your reference. Um, one thing to consider, just with the shape of the character, um, you may want to go and do what Annabelle did, which is do like a, a um, more of a portrait um, aspect ratio to kind of play up that look a little bit. Just because so, it's like his top hat and he's kind of skinny. Um, so I would consider that. But in terms of the image itself, uh, it looks like you're like, it's interesting because it feels a little bit stylized in, in the approach. Like, but I do see some really like hard lines in here. Uh, it would be nice to soften those up a little bit. And looking at your reference, the thing that really works well in this scene is just kind of like the shaping on the background. We've got the window light coming across here. We've got this insane overhead light, which is totally like, I don't know if there's like a hole in the ceiling, but like we've got specular highlights on here kind of coming down this side and really allowing some cool light to hit him and, and some of these surrounding areas that really allow him to pop off in the background. Um, you've got something similar here. It would be nice to get a little bit more shaping on the background going across there and allowing, um, you know, like this, the way that that corner kind of goes into like, oh, wrong way, kind of goes into like darkness. It would be nice if that got darker down there. Um, 
terms of the shaping on the face, like get a little more light to kind of wrap around in here. Um, and then let's see, just pay attention to the depth of field, the amount of out of focus on the background. You've got some, but I think a little bit more can go in. Um, it's also gonna be tough with how simple that background is. So I would even consider just for the sake of this, I mean, you could even put this background, if you can find a high res image of this, um, back behind the character and then paint out Daniel Day-Lewis and, and, and go with that. If you really wanted to match that up, that could be kind of cool too. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, but yeah, I think that's, I think that would be a good place to start that one. Um, let's, let's look down, I'm looking down this side to see if, yeah, maybe, and then maybe trying to push some more of that cool light down this side to get him to pop off in the background with that cool specular highlights. Nigel, uh, updated from the previous version. This is looking good. I love this shadow shape on the background. You're, you're, you're getting some good variation in there. Um, one thing about her skin tone is she's looking a little bit saturated and on the red side. The red, the red not so much, but like just, just kind of a little bit overly saturated. Let's see if we can't tone that down just a little bit. Maybe something more in this realm for her skin tone. Uh, in terms of the flowers themselves, you know what, the other thing too, I would put a little gobo back here on this side, just to kind of frame up the character. And same thing with what I was just saying about the previous shot, you could go with a vertical orientation on this. It feels a little, um, like the composition feels a little odd that we are, we've got more space over here than we do over here. Um, and then there's a lot of breathing room up above her head and she's kind of cut off in mid torso, uh, which doesn't quite feel a hundred percent right. Um, okay. So there's that and a little more specularity on the skin would be great on this bright sunny day for the flowers in the background. They're just being a little bit frontally and overly lit. I know that we want it like the interior core, like this looks really good the way that you know, the, that like there's, like this shadow value looks really good. It would just be nice if like some of these brights, especially on the white flowers, came down a little bit because they are kind of clipping out a little bit. So just one thing to keep in mind there. So yeah, but overall like this, it's looking much better, especially on the flowers from this image. Um, and you're really making some good progress. The one thing also, check some reference on the shadow color. I'm wondering if we can even go a little bit brighter in the shadows like lift those shadow values a little bit but yeah all right pearl it's a nice, nice transition to this one um so same thing with the what i was mentioning to, to nigel a couple days ago which is uh really play up the um warmth in the shadow regions a lot like you really kind of want to play with the color of this scene and make sure that you're you're maintaining a good colorful edge and not allowing too much to go kind of gray and dirty kind of a thing. Uh, I think that, you know, something more like that. Uh, let me go and take that away so I can just look at your original image and not, not make notes on the things that I just did. Um, so it's nice. Uh, this light is like, cause I saw it on her face and I was like, oh, is she holding something that's illuminated? Um, and then I saw it in the back of her hand here and it's like, oh, it must be coming from over here but I'm not seeing any indication in the area over here of light coming in this way, nor am I seeing it like back here on the wall really. Um, so I wanna tie that in more with the scene. Like I want you to kind of maybe, you know, I, I, I get what your, what your goal is and your head's in the right spot, but I do wanna open it up a little bit so it ties in a little bit better uh, with the environment. And in terms of, so there's that, let's open that up a little bit. It's a little bright too. Like it's a little a little extreme in the brightness. Um, I would pull that back a little bit. And then for the surrounding objects, yeah. So the, the fill value on these plants are looking really good. Uh, I just wanna see some more key light hits in them. And for the background, you really wanna watch out for, uh, like this ground is gonna be tricky because there's no really no like bump to it and it kind of cuts off and at, at infinity. So you may wanna uh, push some more objects in there just to kind of break up that background a little bit and then oh, I can see this must be from this light coming through here. There's a little tight shadow there so that um, uh, So that's a little bit too tight So you may want to loosen that up a little bit and then the specularity in the skin is, is off to a good start It's a little strong right now and a little uh, super tight and to the point where she almost looks plastic So we want to get some 
uh, feeling of, of her skin and the pores and that kind of stuff there. Uh, for this one, yeah, much better shaping on the face. I think that the focus is right. Her skin now just feels a touch, a touch too red. Would tone that back just a little bit. And I know this, it's like, you know what it is? It's more like in the key value. So it might, it might be a matter of, because like the, the shadow value here looks good, but now the, the key side looks a little bit sunburnt. So I may go in there and take it, like make a render pass or a color correction pass on just the key side of her face that, that pulls out some of the red out of there. I think that'll help out a lot. But other than that, I think it's good. Just also, you might want to run a ambient occlusion pass just to get to ground her um, shadow a little bit more strongly, especially on her hand here on this corner. Um, and that's it. I think that I think that other than that, that one's pretty good. This one looks great. I am ready to call this one done, unless you have any other critiques on this. I think this looks really, really great. Um, I was bummed. It's, it always sucks when you get when there's like a bunch of really good submissions for the lighting challenge because like so many of them could have won, and I always feel bad when they just kind of come down to my opinion. But uh, but I think that yours is technically really strong and really solid, and I, I I just just throw it on your demo reel and be happy with it. You know, I think this one's really really good. And then okay for this one, uh, let's see. Maybe we should pull up. So my first reaction to this one is like, oh, the character is overly lit because I'm, I'm just looking at the flatness and the brights and also too much in the in the haze. So you've got a lot, lot, you know, brighter on the ground here. Watch these hard shadows. Think of light as it's passing through water. It gets diffracted quite a bit or refracted quite a bit. And the shadow values are going to be a lot more diffused. So I will, I, I'll challenge you to go back to your reference of from Finding Nemo and others to really look at how the character is portrayed because often you're not going to be seeing that amount of haze over top of them. It's, it's really going to start to really build up quickly behind them. Um, this stuff in the foreground looks really good. I think that's looking really nice. I think uh, some of the areas on the ground are looking nice. The highlights of the caustic are, are a little too strong. Um, the, the, the neutral side of his uh, tentacles are very, very yellow. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's causing that, but you may want to look into that. I don't know if that's in the shader or in the light, but you may want to pull back on that a little bit. And then background, a lot more depth in this than what we were seeing out of the last one. So they're really, really good job there. But I just I think that we can pull the character out of out of the um, volumetric rays and, and the fog, even though technically that that's probably how it would look. But um, again, go back to your to your reference to look at the character lighting there because I think that'll really help you out because they do a really good job of balancing that look with making sure that the character can read and has good shaping and that kind of stuff. All right, last up we have Sylvain. Uh, yeah, so this looks this looks really great. I do think that we can continue to push um, the overall glow on this. So let me let me do two things here. Just take this. And I, I mean, I would really kind of you know, really add like a, a much stronger haze over top there. And then I would also allow the image to transition on the screen left side into a darker value. as we come across the image there. Like maybe something more along those lines. And what we would get is just a little a little more focus on the screen left side and a little less focus on the, let me do it this way. So more like this. So just a little, a little more haze kind of overtaking the screen right side, a little more darkness on the screen left side. And, and if you can too, maybe play around with, if I, would, I wanna see a little bit of this light kind of spill out of the house 
and onto the stairs and kind of in this area there. I think that would help out a lot too. But all right, really great job, everybody. <laughs> Stuff is amazing. Your your uh, submissions yesterday were it blew me away. So um, keep it going. You guys are incredible. So thank you all so much, and I will talk to you all very soon. All right, happy lighting, everybody.